This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity Podcast. Today's discussion is around the following topic. The title is Don't Underestimate the Young Executive. So in business, there's this constant challenge of people on the, on the upswing moving to the careers where they've got tremendous energy, they might not have tremendous amounts of experience, not 23 years of experience, but they've got great energy, often very smart, often grew up around a lot of computers, a lot of different things that are so critical today, and also have had lots of different experiences as a young professional, uh, whether at an investment bank, a consultant firm, a private equity fund, wherever it might be. It might be in a health system and so forth. And, and one of the things that people often do that are very much senior is say things like, that person's not ready for that role. I can't believe you're putting that person in charge of leadership. And so my perspective is there, there is a grace to these young people that they have to hit. They have to hit right, the right mix of humility. But, but sometimes the young executive has had so many good experiences and has he or she has, had so, has so much energy and focus that they could be extremely effective executives even at a young age. And I see so many companies – overlook this and this is not a uh, uh you know a, again at my age somebody who's 58 seems young so so bear with me but 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 the point being it's not there could be great older executives as well and there often are that could bring focus that could be bring drive can bring energy can bring gravitas but but sometimes people look at all that experience and take that over the energetic focused executive who may or may not be coming into the prime of their careers. And, and so the lesson I have is you evaluate both of them in equally for job opportunities. You, you look at both, whether older, younger, this or that. But I find that many people end up underestimating sometimes the qualifications of the young, young executive in a changing world, particularly if that young executive can be surrounded by a, a, a lot of other senior people, and he or she doesn't have to lead everything all at once, could, could grow into that. But, but I do think, I remember in my own company, a very long time ago, we put a young executive in charge, and, and literally in a very short time, a lot of the older people were offended by it because they thought, oh my God, how could you put this young woman in charge? But I just had tremendous confidence in that particular young executive. In other places, we've placed people that are much, much more senior into leadership spots and had great, great success. But one of the things I find is that often the one generation may underestimate, oh, that person's unseasoned. Oh, that person's a rookie. Oh, that person's that. But sometimes they're missing that that person is in, the, is in this sort of very prime of their career uh, and, and really bright, really driven, really motivated, and really focused. So, so the, the core message is don't underestimate the young executive, particularly the one that can come with energy and humility, intelligence and humility, and, and, and be surrounded by a lot of senior and, and people that have a lot of that wisdom and experience. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. I hope that I haven't offended anybody young or old today. I often do. Thank you for listening. Text me, Scott Becker, 773-766-5222. With any questions, any comments you have, any topic suggestions, also, if you can, buy the book, first edition. We're working on a second edition. It'll be better, I promise. Blocking and Tackling, 60 Keys to Building a Business and Managing Your Money. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity Business Podcast. And thank you, as always, to Chanel Bunger, our magnificent producer. Thank you very much.